What's going on adventurers? We are currently back out here at Animal Crossings. Big shout out to Robbie and Zoli for having us back out today. They were nice enough to have us while my family was in town so they could come check out the animals. There's an awesome gator sitting right here behind me. Just soaking up some sun rays. What a beautiful day. I mean, you couldn't ask for a better day to be out here in the sunshine. What you got, baby? What are you doing? Oh, I wish I could move like that. Now, lemurs, there's several different uh, subspecies, but they're all from Madagascar. Look, Lisa's in a cage. Oh, wait, we're in the cage. I know, aren't they cute? Oh, look at the tail. It's Wilderness Davies in a lemur cage. Are they out already? Oh, it's so gentle. <laughs> Here, Aren't they the cutest? Oh, oh, really? oh they're real small now. Oh. Here, Dean, go feed one. Oh my gosh. You two are like the perfect type for this. More. Stop. Stop. Oh, so gentle getting it. Yeah. Is this the I coolest? I expect that. I expect them to be more aggressive. So We're just warming you up for the alligators. You can go in. Yeah. Oh, you got it. Oh, she grabbed my hand. Look at that. <laughs> he was slipping, so he like put both balls right in that little. There she is. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. The is, coolest. That is like beyond. This is like you guys young. are out here volunteering today to feed and help us. I'm so excited. I've always so loved lemurs. Oh, that's so cute. Oh my gosh, they're so gentle. The actual peel actually has more oh, vitamins than the. Oh, that one itself. almost grabbed it away. This one's a bust. <laughs> 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 he's not even looking at you. He's looking at me. And, he's like, I want the banana. Hey, baby. Oh, their the hands so are gentle. so soft. I thought they had like claws. I did too. I was afraid of claws. <laughs> well, they do have claws, I think. Are they but... nice? Oh, they, yeah, they have a... This one's very nice. This one. Do you have a name? They just have like... I mean, they have hands like they like people. Their mouths are so like gentle. So they're, did I hear you say the other day that like one of the oldest primates? <laughs> they are. They're not... Uh, can in get, a sense, they're a primate, you? but they're actually can called prosciniums. The prosciniums, okay. They are the oldest uh, classification of primate. Wow, that's awesome. Really? Yeah, there's actually fossils of these back when dinosaurs were roaming the earth. <laughs> I can't believe you didn't scream, Mom. That's like the first time ever that you didn't. <laughs> Mom, get, closer. Closer. get closer. Get closer. No, get closer. What? <laughs> Just get closer. To the monkeys. To the lemons. Get a little closer. What? Can I get on my head? <laughs> I can feel the love. There was a banana on your head. <laughs> no. Yeah. Okay, now get up there. Here he comes. Here he comes. <laughs> Are you making a monkey out of me? Yep. <laughs> Did you put another one up there? Of course. Funny. <laughs> <laughs> my shoulder. Turn around, bird. It's on my shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> Poor mom. <laughs> <laughs> I can feel the love. It's called an Asian vine snake. They're, they stay thin like this their whole life. And as you saw, he blends right in. And then he'll hold the tip of his tongue out like that to look like the growth of the end of a vine, the new growth. And plus he's smelling his surroundings. Every once in a while you'll see him put it in and then he put deposits whatever air particles are on it into the Jacobic's organ. It's like a supercomputer in top of their mouth. And that analyzes everything. It tells them if there's food, if there's uh, water, or what is there and they're actually if you look at this snake see how the pupils 
they're horizontal instead of vertical. These guys actually have one of the best eyesights out of all the snake species. How many times have you been bitten by snakes? Oh God. <laughs> we used to get in a bag of Amazon tree boas and I'd just put my hand down in the bag and they'd all bite me and hold wow. on. And I pull my hand out and have 15, 16 snakes. So that's crazy. <laughs> But well, venomous snakes there, only four times and all four have been dry bites. What's up King Cobra? Yeah. You are beautiful. Who's up here? That's Kiki. Kiki we identify by the nodulars on his nose. If you look at his nostrils, you go back a little bit. He's got two lumps right there. Kiki is named after my good friend Keanu Neal, who's the safety for the Atlanta Falcons. He grew up around here, played football here, and then played for UF. A lot of my gators are named after University of Florida football players. That's cool. There's uh, Kiki, there's Everett, there's uh, Tebow, and a couple other ones around. And then this here, is Chance, this is the only gator I have that's named after a University of uh, Florida, a Florida State player, who was my friend who played for Florida State. He's pretty, mm -hmm. he's pretty pissed. <laughs> oh, he's he big has? blowhard. We're entering breeding season now, so. You think any of them will bellow? Uh, not today. No. They did this morning, first thing, and they'll do it this evening, if it doesn't get too cold too quick. What's bellowing? They make this sound, and they, then the water like ripples around. It's really cool. It sounds like Jurassic Park here, because you got this pen with that pen with that pen wow. with the gator marsh, which we have 500 alligators in, all competing. All the males are bellowing, alligators. so it sounds like Jurassic Park in the early morning, wow. six o'clock in the morning, or right before dusk. Sitting right there, that huge alligator. He's going to go in the water if we get too close. Uh, he's going to go in because the crocodile's going in. Oh, that's a croc, okay. Crikey, there's a crocodile. He's over a thousand pounds. He's probably closer to like 1,200. There's Tebow back there, guys. His neck, my weight, he's 34. Wow, isn't he beautiful? The base of his tail is 30. I can't even yeah, this is the crocodile right here. Yeah. What kind of crocodile is this, Robbie? West African crocodile. West African, okay. I've never heard of those before. It's a new, newly there? discovered uh, species. That's actually, that right there is an alligator. The crocodile went under. Uh, yeah, he went under here. He's under here. You can still yeah, see his back. Wow, Tebow is huge. Yeah. Mm. He doesn't look that big, he on, doesn't look on, that big the, on camera. No, he does not. Wow. The first time Omar saw him, he was like, that's the gator you're always on film with? I'm like, yeah. He goes, he doesn't look that big. No, he doesn't. <laughs> that's him. <laughs> and then that's Felicia right next to him. Okay. His girlfriend. <laughs> that's his main squeeze. <laughs> <laughs> So do they stick with one mate or no? No, no, they'll mate several. Several. One male could mate, mate 10 females. And that's why you have like ponds like this in the wild or little sections of the river like this. One male will have this as its territory and chase all the other males out. So there's usually just one male and then a bunch of females? There's a dominant male and a okay. bunch of females come for the bellowing and the oh. water dance, what they do with the water off their back. That's so cool. When they're in the water, they'll raise their back like that in the water, and then they'll bellow, and the water dances off their backs from the vibrations. Oh, Closest God. estimate we have is anywhere from 30 to 50 years old. When he was caught, uh, that was like nine years ago, he was 10 feet, and like I said, right around 350 pounds. And about how long do they live? Uh, it could be up to 80 years. Wow. It just depends on the condition. In captivity, they're going to live longer because they don't have as many um, things out there. They're not fighting. They're not right. falling uh, sick. And they're taking care of. They're always eating. 
like a wild, if Tebow were in the wild, he'd maybe weigh 400 pounds. Really? But yeah, just because we feed so much. He's huge. He's large and in charge. They look so happy too. They look yeah. really happy here. What's up, Tebow? TT, what are you doing, buddy? He's, what are you doing? Huh? You gonna talk? Hello? McFly. <laughs> you gonna talk? No talking? I know you're there, I can see you. There you go. There it is. Good boy. And now wow. the hissing like that, it's not necessarily meaning back off or anything like that. It's him communicating. That's how they talk to each other and they'll make other noises as well. But he'll get up and walk in because he doesn't want you guys are here and he's like, quit showing them what you do with me. <laughs> I'm the dominant male here. Man, that's beautiful. Wow. And then this is the dominant female. She's she's almost nine. Their perennial temperature, the temperature on their heads, we've shot it. It's been about 100 degrees sitting in the sun because they're so dark. Wow. And it just absorbs all that sun. Now, all those bony plates on their back are called scoots. And they're like a, they're not only used as armor, but they're also used as like nature's solar panel. They have a four chamber heart that can switch it from four chambers to two chambers to hold energy and conserve energy. That's how you see those pictures of the gators with their nose up out of the ice. The pond freezes and their noses are up. They switch their hearts to two chamber. They're not expelling any energy and they're just breeding. Now crocodiles cannot take it as cold as alligators can. Mm. Um, but those scoots on the back, They'll switch their heart so it, the blood runs through them and it warms up the blood. Crazy, I've been on a lot of different paddle boards and this one is so stable. You can right. hop up and down on it. Right. And... Wow. Yeah, he's, he's That's awesome. Oh my God. Wow. <laughs> That's like a super paddle board. Yeah. Hey guys, what you doing? You sunning yourself? What you doing? Nobody's dying from the regular flu. It's a beautiful day for you to catch some rays. Now these are probably pound for pound the most dangerous crocodile in the world. Uh, they don't get as big as the Niles or the Salties, but these guys are way more acrobatic. They actually can run, they gallop. They go like a horse and there's points where they're running where nothing's touching the ground oh um, they can jump vertically he could jump right there and grab my hand he can tripod he can stand up on his back legs and his tail and take food they are only found in a small area two small areas of Cuba and they are facing extinction because the American crocodile is also there and they are crossbreeding and plus, uh, they've been over hunted because they have the prettiest hides for their hide and Cuba's a poor country, they eat them a lot. They're my favorite crocodile by far. They're just so intelligent. They live in large groups. They actually hunt like velociraptors. They'll circle something and one will catch it and they'll all tear into it. Female. I know. Okay. I know you got me. I know. You remember me? He's like, I remember Do you remember me? Watch. He says, I remember you let I remember you let me bite you. I remember. I was attacked by a swamp wallaby. I was attacked by a swamp wallaby. I know he likes my watch. He loves watching for some reason. Nothing. I think he thinks they're edible. <laughs> um, later on today, when we get back from going for the gators, come in here and pull all these things. I wouldn't do that. Okay. Yeah, don't do that. They should pull them. You should stop doing that. He's coming to get you, Mom. 
It's coming for your toes. It's coming for your toes, Mom. You, if you look at him, you see him how his head's shaking like that? Yeah. It's called tantalation. Um, all he's doing is going into hypersensitive sniff mode. So that's why his head's shaking. We had he's a just... Doberman like that. He's sniffing his whole yep. body, which is like, they're like, why is he trimming? Yeah, it's like, he's just excited. Yeah. And that's, they're not, it's not a nervous thing. It's just a, okay. all senses are in overload. Overstimulated thing. Look, he's grabbing the um, Twig. the branches. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's hilarious. <laughs> oh my goodness! How long have you guys had him? Uh, two years. <laughs> How long did it take to for him to bond with you like that? Um, really, whenever he probably about a year actually. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he just grabbed on. That's so funny. Good boy. These guys are African voiceless ducks, and I love their coloration. They're really beautiful. <laughs> 